applause. Well, yesterday was Earth Day, but for a group of high schoolers in San Anselmo, Earth Day is really every day. Yeah, and some of them just returned from Ecuador on a reforestation mission. This week's cool school is Sir Francis Drake High School. Students are hard at work in the garden at Drake High School. We're not only growing our own food in a sustainable way, but we're also like encouraging our community to be more sustainable. They plant kale, broccoli, and other veggies, harvest them, and then share with the school cafeteria. And this is all done by Drake's Global Student Embassy Club, committed to improving the environment and raising awareness. They are like, oh, like, if these young people care about this, then I should care about this too, and so they do. They put their planting skills to good use in a recent trip to Ecuador. 38 Drake students traveled to help with reforestation efforts in the country's dry tropical forests. It was a lot harder than I thought it would be because um, we had to like walk the trees to the place where we were planting them and the water jugs, like carrying huge water jugs was really hard but it was totally worth it. It was very rewarding. They planted about a thousand two foot tall trees during their 10 day trip. Each tree was named, some after parents, pets and teachers. It kind of gets more of an emotional attachment with the tree, um, gets you closer with it, and in a way it kind of makes you friends in, in this sort. They see the problems and they don't see adults uh, maybe solving them as quickly as they would like. He helped start the club at Drake six years ago and credits the students for finding solutions that can last a lifetime. People are willing to reach across cultural divides and uh, give up some of their ease of living and um, really try and dig in to see what they can do. I hope that the rest of the community can see what we're doing and uh, other schools can see what we're doing as well and follow our lead. They really are amazing students and they also went to their local restaurants and got about a dozen of them to cut back on straw usage. So, hey, if you can plant broccoli and kale and get the students to eat it there, that's saying something right there. That's big too. That's big. Yeah. And to get to go down to Ecuador and other South American, Central American yeah, countries. Yeah, next year will be Nicaragua. They take turns in Nicaragua yeah. and Ecuador that's amazing. every year. I mean, just the culture and everything they're learning. I awesome. Know. It is. Hey, what's cool about your school? You can email your nominations to us at coolschoolcbssf.com and we may come out and feature your school on the program. And I would like to hear from you because I'll be out next week. I so. know. So he needs some ideas. Yeah, I think come my on school, in. I think we